Uh, I've had about three and a half hours sleep and uh, I have basically watched most of day one of E3. Uh, I'm going to try to move this a little bit. Yeah, I've watched most of day one of E3 and I was quite impressed. I saw about most of the Microsoft press conference. Didn't see all of it. I've kind of missed the beginning, but uh, their timing is pretty decent. They cranked out a lot of games, a lot of games. And they didn't touch on TV, which was wise. Then don't mention, don't remember them mentioning a pr their price drop or them being connectless. In fact, if anything, they even showed off a couple of Kinect titles. So we'll see where that lies. Uh, then obviously, I watched the EA one, which was alright. You know, it's very predictable EA. There were some lovely things shown and some interesting things shown. I mean, uh, that, uh, Super early build from Criterion was just very, very interesting. I'd like to see what they do with that if they continue to do anything with it, and what it'll turn into, and so on and so forth. I mean, it could turn into anything from this, from that point, or could get scrapped, or could become several different games. It's hard to tell, but uh, it was kind of nice to see such an early build. See, <clears throat> see the guts of a game, and then of course we had Ubisoft. Now Ubisoft did some very nice things. I mean, we saw more of Assassin's Creed, which I wasn't so convinced about, but now, actually having seen it, it looks gorgeous. But how the story continues, you know, or how the story develops at least. I mean, are we still using the animus? Is it still with the, the fight? You know, is it is it post-Connor, pre-Connor, or Connor? I mean, not Connor, I mean Desmond. Silly me. Yeah, so the only problem I had with it is at right at the end when I was about to start watching the Rainbow Six video, the connection from IGN went all <sighs> The IGN connection was just not as stable as it should have been. Although this year was probably one of the better years connection wise. I had my I had this phone ready, I had my pad ready. And I had the IGN app ready, all for when the PlayStation was kicking off, for their one. And uh, I think, yet again, PlayStation might very well have won E3, because they chucked a good amount of games, some games that nobody would ever have seen coming. I mean, they basically did their own version of Elite, but like with colour and light. And they even seemed to even be taking a little bit from... What was that game, that Will Wright game? Uh, Spore. It seemed to take like from the later levels of Spore. And uh, yeah, just so much in the PlayStation trailer. I mean, the TV, co their own TV content, and proper support for the Vita, and PlayStation TV. PlayStation Now was mentioned, you know. Admittedly, everything they said was all about what's happening in America, the American release, the American beta, blah, 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 America, America, America. But then, you know, that's an American show pre predominantly being watched by Americans. So you're going to have to expect that. But uh, there's a few things I didn't expect. I didn't expect the Uncharted trailer at the end, which was a lovely surprise. I didn't expect Sony to be showing us Mortal Kombat 10 or X or whatever you want to call it. And that looked even better. It's like uh, I had lost interest in Mortal Kombat a couple of generations ago. I was like, yeah, another Mortal Kombat. But this one, hmm, that does look kind of interesting. Uh, but the one thing that really caught me was the idea that we're now going to have Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PlayStation 4. So it's all going to be looking lovely. And Andrew House himself said that once you're playing it, you can upload all your on GTA Online save data, your entire character profile, from not just your PlayStation account, but also from your Xbox account. Now that is very special, ladies and gentlemen. Very special indeed. Almost, uh, in fact, I am considering getting Grand Theft Auto V again. And you know what? 
I think I would play through it again. Because I did really enjoy that game. It was a very special game. Ah. I come to think of it. The last one came up, you know, September last year. Now they said autumn 2014. I wonder if they're going to go for exactly the same launch date. In like a year on, here's the upgrade. Should be interesting. Now the only thing I am wondering about is if the PlayStation 4 version of Grand Theft Auto 5 online will mesh with the PlayStation 3 version. You know? The PlayStation 3 players and the PlayStation 4 players in the same space. I would doubt it because of the system architecture. But then again, there's a lot of voodoo at work between Rockstar and Sony. Those guys are good at what they do, so maybe they might find a way to pull that off if they thought of it, which I would like to think they would have done. But, uh, yeah. I've seen a lot of E3 last night. And Batman looked amazing. Everything just looked really, really good. There's so much interesting stuff that's come from this year's E3. And, uh, yours truly was, uh, saw most of it and was quite pleased by a lot of it. Yeah. And it was... Even for the Microsoft guys, I'm happy to see you get Crackdown back because the Crackdown series has always been a lot of fun. Although I think the trailer was a little stale. Actually, there's a few trailers that, although they were great to see the game being announced, were a little stale. And we'll have to see how the whole uh, Battlefield Cop game goes. But uh, in essence, I'd say I think Sony did it again. I think Sony have come out and they've... Uh, had the most interesting showing, even though when it came to the new guy and the slideshow for all the numbers, the, admittedly the pacing kind of dipped there. I still think as far as breadth and depth of content and overall style of how they actually handled their conference, I think Sony might have just squeaked into the lead. Anyway, as always, you know the deal. Make sure to rate, favourite, comment, share and subscribe. Oh, and a special thank you out there to GamePerf for favouriting me on Twitter. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but thank you. Anyway, I... Nibbler.